Hey guys, Andy with Fathom Offshore. I'm here with Tom from the Bangrang Sport Fishing and today we're going to talk tuna. So let's dive into it. So we know there's a lot of different ways to target uh, various species of tuna from dead bait to spreader bars to lures. Uh, let's talk specifically dead bait and kind of what we have that works for that customer. On our site specifically, you're, we have several different variations of, uh, of mini chugger. We got the glitter heads, we got the mylar, um, and then the way we like to pre-rig these on our site is super quick, super simple, is we're using these kind of pin rig ballyhoo rigs. Um, so what this is, is it's a stainless steel, um, long shank ballyhoo hook, a little bit of lead, and a spring and pin. And the way we're doing these is just simply dropping these straight down through the mini chugger and um, and basically pin ringing a ballyhoo on them. Um, why don't you talk to me a little bit about the way you're rigging these on the bangerang? Okay, so on the bangerang, the way we, were, we we have a bunch of these you know chugger heads and these bullet heads on board, and the way we rig them is on 80 pound fluorocarbon, about 30 feet long, and we attach it to our main line with a Spro heavy duty swivel. This is a 150 pound swivel. Okay, so that allows us to crank this swivel and all this leader onto our rod tip and so we can get that fish right close to the boat and stroke them with a gaff right there. You don't have to worry about, you know, wiring all this leader. Yep, yep. So um, it's a pretty simple rig, you know, when you're the first couple inches after you catch some fish get chafed up, you can just cut it back and recrimp your hook, you know, put your lead and your, and your wire back on there. Yeah, you're not having to toss that entire 15 or 30 foot of expensive fluorocarbon in the trash. Exactly. You Shorten just, it up. Just, just clip it back, recrimp it, and, and you're back fishing pretty okay. much. So it's, uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward and, and it works pretty well for us. So Tom, I know you're using this particular setup for like the glitter chuggers, mylar chuggers, even maybe some small resin head style lures. How does it vary when you move up to something like this and how are you fishing that particular style? Um, something, a bigger bullet head like this, a little bit heavier, I would shorten the leader up and that way you can fish it behind a spreader bar or yep. you can fish it behind a, a bird like this. And you can also fish it, you know, on a downrigger or a planer rod, something like that. Yeah. And uh, that's, you know, with all this combined, you have a pretty good arsenal for tuna fishing when it comes to dead bait. Perfect.